Hello everyone, welcome back, it's me, Thanos, and I am ready to do another Kaguya summer reaction for Season 3. This is very exciting. It's been, I think, almost a year or longer since I did a, any video at all, and it's been two years since my last Kaguya summer reaction, so I am completely out of practice with recording videos and speaking and editing, so... I don't know how long it's going to be between me recording this and actually getting it out, but who cares? I'm just happy to be starting again. <clears throat> um, I know that this season has like been out for a while. I don't know whether it's already finished or is almost finished, but I was super excited when I heard it was coming out and was, you know, I really wanted to watch but wasn't in a position to, wasn't ready to do any reactions yet because I was just busy with work and you may notice that things are a bit different because I've moved. So that will also explain why the sound is a bit different. Unfortunately, this room is echoier than the one I used to record in. And um, I haven't really had any chance to do anything about it yet. Hopefully I will at some point. But for now, just please bear with me. Um, I'm also near a busy road, so hopefully we won't have too many too much road noise coming through. It's usually pretty okay. Most cars just rumble on by, like, and you barely even notice, but there's always that one guy that just has to just absolutely gun it down the road or come screeching around the corner. But I can't do anything about that either, so I'm not going to worry about it. So yeah, work, moving house, and then COVID, which kind of sucked as well, because then I was coughing for a long time, and it's only now that fingers crossed, touch wood, all that sort of stuff. Um, hopefully I, I won't have any coughing fits. I'm pretty sure that's mostly done, but I still get the occasional one, which is annoying. But it's okay, I'm good now. And I'm going to get to watch Kaguya-sama, so I'm very happy. Now, I don't want to spend too much time here before actually getting into the episode, but because it is the first one of a new season, I feel like I should at least very briefly um, just try to re remember what happened last season. Um, so I mean, last season was brilliant. <laughs> we had, uh, I think, two main arcs I would call the student council election slash re-election. We also had the sports festival. And across these two arcs, we managed to get an introduction of some new characters, specifically like Miko Ino and her friend, what was it? Osaragi. I remember the last name for some reason better than the... Hey, I just got sniped because I just... Just one of those things, it's like totally unrelated. <clears throat> but I think Osaragi is like the name of one of the characters in um, Sakamoto Days. <laughs> this um, assassin manga that I was reading. Anyway, unrelated. It's just one of those things where suddenly you realize that, oh, such and such is like the same name as something else, and then your brain just goes off on this tangent. Anyway, I think that's right. Um, so Miko Uno joined the council, so new main character. Expect to be seeing a lot of her. Um, not sure whether her friend is going to be around as much or is more of a supporting character, and there are plenty of those. There's been way more you know, introduction over time of all of these extra characters who are just there. And, you know, they keep showing up just to give this extra, like, spice to the stories. Just like, you know, that couple who were seeking advice before but seem to have had much better luck with their relationship, the one girl who seems to be constantly stalking them while <laughs> crying over the fact because I presumably she's jealous about the their relationship. Um, we've also got, you know, the various um, relatives. I, Hayasaka, who... Heck, I don't know whether I can... It feels bad even classing her as a you know, minor supporting character because she's, when she's there, she really makes a presence known. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, plenty, plenty of other characters, you know, the cheer squad that um, Ishigami joined. Um, I imagine we could be seeing more of them as well. Speaking of um, Ishigami, there was plenty of development for him, both in, you know, in current time as well as his backstory. So yeah, the Season 2 was really an excellent season for him. Um, 
but yeah, in general, lots of development across every character, so happy to see lots of that. And yeah, I've spoken for long enough. I want to watch the episode. <clears throat> so I am watching on Crunchyroll now, which is a bit different before, but Anime Lab no longer exists. Anyway, Crunchyroll is fine, and seems to be my only legitimate way of watching this show now. Um... Reminder that this is a full-length timer-based reaction, so I won't be showing that much of the actual um, thing, and I will be cutting up pretty much all of the sound because I haven't had any luck having any sound at all. So you'll have just have to sync up your own copy. So I'm just starting on the black screen at the very start, and I will be starting in three, two, one, go. Yeah, so we're just starting pretty much where we left off at the end. I remember the last episode was incredibly... What? <laughs> I remember the last episode being incredibly heartfelt with the whole phone thing. Where Shinomiya lost or had her phone crushed and then... And then we finished with the absurdity. Miko Ino wants to be soothed. These guys just can't stop antagonizing each other. Their relationship is so good seeing like how much they supported each other before. But but never in front of each other. That is pretty terrible. <laughs> guess it's interesting what sort of sounds people find soothing sorry I'm just checking that my voice is actually being recorded <laughs> Moral support from heartthrobs. <laughs> Oh, that room. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. And now it's going to be worse because he didn't say anything. Oh, 
I love how absurd the situations are. Such self-sacrifice. How rude. All for nothing. <laughs> Kaguya doesn't realize. Oh no! The flick input system is hard to use.
I love how distraught. I love how distraught Hayasaka is with these things. Wow. <laughs> Oh, they're back at it again. Oh my god, the horror right in the face. <laughs> such such fast thinking <laughs> what is he doing?
Chika Fujiwara Wants to Battle, I think was the title. <laughs> oh my god. Ishigami's been doing, been working out a bit as well, right? I wonder how she'd do. No, so that requires... Oh, here we go. I bet she's going to wreck him. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, music always great. So that means he has to win. Speaking of which, still get I still have yet to hear the uh the OP for this new season. Always with her tricks. Just like when she was cheating with the... <laughs> it's 
Like when she was cheating with the memory game. I really like the that relationship as well, the way they antagonize each other. They're both just... <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I was too slow to read that. It's always so absurd. Muscle Queen. This will be the new OP, right? Same singer, that's good to hear, I think. Ultra romantic, this season is called. That's right, we got to see more of um, Shiragane's family as well. His sister and his father last season.
No, stop, 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 stop. Oh boy. Hmm. As usual, I think it might take a little while, like with any show, to get used to the OP. Initially, it sounds good. It's, um, I don't know whether it has the same feeling of impact. But overall, I like this. I like this intro. Um, it's just that it didn't seem to jump out at me as much. Whereas I felt like the second, second seasons one sort of, you know, smacks you in the face <laughs> at the start, for lack of a better way to describe it. Um, but yeah, so what do I think of the episode? Really happy to be back in this world, in this story. Um, got to touch on all of the main characters, which I think was great. The stories that were told were, you know, interesting. We still saw... <clears throat> I'm going to take this off. We got to see the... You know, we got treated to an interaction between Ishigami and um, Ino. We got to start off this season with, you know, another interaction of two characters who did get, you know, a lot of um, development last season and whose relationship was sort of only hinted at. Well, not hinted at, I mean, it was just there. But whose, you know, relationship was introduced last season with um, this sort of outward disgust, uh, maybe more from, you know, Miko Ino's side towards Ishigami. But, you know, the way that they're sort of always butting heads um, in public with the way that she doesn't like him and he obviously doesn't like the way that she treats him but despite that behind the scenes you know they they were shown to always help each other and this was an extension of it as we still have this um example of the way their relationship plays out they come in miko's disappointed to find him being the only one in the council room at the time tries to you know drain him out with her earphones uh, Ishigami, despite the way that, you know, she nettles him all the time, still is, you know, willing to try to take a bullet for her by leaving his headphones unplugged a little and, you know, bear the embarrassment to try to save her, but all for naught, unfortunately, because she doesn't take the opportunity to check. I've got to say, that's a great... I love how this show always just does such completely mundane and relatable things and also somehow manages to take them to absurd levels you know these are things that you can relate with so much same too just all these things that people start to learn it's not like you get taught about it by anyone but the whole you know read receipts in various instant messaging things and you know line also having that particular feature but yeah just the that whole game that people play in their heads the rules around it the you know the unspoken rules of oh you know if you've seen it then you know people will look at it and then think oh you know well you've read the message it says you've read the <laughs> you've said it said you've read the message so why haven't you replied and also mentioning, you know, those those other techniques that people have to try to hide generating the receipt. It's like, well, you know, I can I can look at the notification and see the message, and if I don't actually open the message window, I'm not gonna generate the read receipt. And what on earth was this? This was <laughs> the text that I didn't get a chance to read. Once upon a time, there were people called elderly builders. They were plucked from gyms and made to compete in all kinds of tournaments. Among these builders was one whose muscles sparkled. Finding this strange, I moved closer and found that he was shining from inside his muscles. Once I saw that, how powerful this tiny man seemed to me. What is this from? <laughs> it's just a bizarre thing. I mean, there are plenty of bizarre things that this has, but um, I don't know whether it's like a particular reference or not. Anyway, I don't really have any thoughts right now. Um... It still feels very early. 
I'm very happy with this first episode. I'm not going to, you know, try to speculate on what might happen this uh, this season yet, or, you know, where the arcs are going to go. Um, I'm ready, I'm happy to just sit back and enjoy it, so, yeah. Alrighty, that's it for Kaguya Summer Season 3 Ultra Romantic Episode 1. Um, loved it. Can't wait for the second one, although just to, you know, try to keep things manageable for myself. Might be a few days before I record. I don't know how often I'm going to upload, but whatever. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, then, you know, please leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you thought, either of the episode or the reaction. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.